Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. All of us have to be responsible. Sir Alexander Fleming already warned us 75 years ago that it is not difficult to make microbes resistant to penicillin. AMR is a global crisis. O'Neill Review last May 2016 predicted that failure to address the problem of antibiotic resistance could result in 10 million deaths by 2050 and all sectors must work together to address this challenge. Being one of the largest chicken producers in the country, we want to take a leading position by offering our countrymen healthy, safe, and zero antibiotics chicken meat. We started our journey to no antibiotics ever chicken production eight years ago with several farm trials in Laguna and Batangas from 2012 2015. We have to face and overcome our fears first before we started our mass production in selected areas as 2017 to serve our flagship brand Chooks to Go, which is the country's number one rotisserie chain with close to 1,600 stores nationwide. Our journey to NAE is challenging and difficult, especially from the start. You have to have the right organizational setup for checks and balance, feed milling operation, and farm operation are under different leadership, with different cultures, values, and KPIs. Since the start, these two groups were constantly at war, especially nutritionists and veterinarians. Last 2014, our president, Mr. Mascarinas, gave his full trust and confidence for me to handle both groups. It was a big challenge for me because I know that it is easier to manage chicken than people because you do not need to lead and motivate them. I need to win the trust and confidence of the feed mill operation after years of conflict. I aligned the mission, vision, and KPI of the new team and tied them to a common goal. We eliminated duplications or use of products with the same mode of action in the feeds and drinking water. We invest in people. I need to know my people well and to show that I care. Team building, disc profiling, and knowing their strengths and team roles increase the team's trust and confidence. As a team, we are one, but we are not the same. The essence of synergy is to the value of differences. Its members have different points of view and expertise, but under one leadership, we are united and complement each other. This unique organizational setup is the first key for successful antibiotic-free production. As one team, we are more transparent to upcoming concerns, more agile in tackling issues and implementing action. From 2017 to July 2020, we have two types of production, regular and NA production. Our NA chicken are fed with all vegetarian feeds, while animal byproducts are cheap source of protein, its quality is variable, affecting feed quality. It also contains varying levels of biogenic amines and gesericine that can cause lesions in the bird's gastrointestinal tract. Further, we have found out last 2017 that this material is normally contaminated with antibiotics. We have one less thing to worry about by removing this animal byproduct. Ban in the use of AGPs started in Sweden last 1986. After 31 years, Bounty started to remove AGPs and completely go away with it by May 2018. We do not have to wait for legislations to do what is right. Please take note that in the Philippines, we have only few banned AGPs. It was only in 2015 that the Philippine government created an interagency committee for the formulation and implementation of a national plan to combat AMR. As veterinarians, we should be responsible to take action in this fight. 
monitoring of flock health is very important. This slide will show that complete removal of AGPs and increasing NAE production did not affect the intestinal integrity score. You may notice that there was a dip in I2 score last 2019, which we attributed to poor quality soybean meal that caused higher proventricular lesions. Disease is generally multifactorial. Therefore, intervention should be focused on different aspects of poultry production. It is very important to identify predisposing and aggravating factors and address it immediately. NAE production starts with the best quality day of chicks. This is why coordination and cooperation with the breeder and hatchery departments are very important. We have to offer the best quality feeds. Our nutritionists and feed mill personnel make sure that our finished feeds have met our standard release parameters for healthier, safe, and more efficient broiler production. Feed should have the right feed particle size to allow good development of the gizzard, which is the pacemaker of the gut. Use of enzymes is an integral part of NAE production. This is one thing that we can't do without. There are several types of enzymes. You just have to choose the right one. Enzymes will improve the digestibility of the feeds that will reduce substrate available for pathogens. Our veterinarians ensure that all our management standards are implemented. Replacement visit and biosecurity audit are very important to ensure that the farms are clean and ready to accept day old chicks and disease risk will be minimal. Brooding audit will ensure that the birds will have a better head start. First seven days accounts for more than 22% of broilers' lifetime and can make or break your flock. Good brooding will often result to good uniformity and uniform broilers are easier to manage. Responsible use of antibiotics is a growing need that can no longer be ignored. Good management and animal welfare should always underpin a plan for reduction in antibiotic use. We have management standards, health programs, and performance and feeding guide. Compared to UK, our standard stocking densities is lower to ensure that the birds can express their normal behavior and optimize their genetic potential. Our NAE farms have better FCR mainly due to better farm management. This gave us the confidence to remove the use of antibiotics as prophylaxis in all our farms nationwide. Based on FAIRR progress report last May 2019, China and USA have the biggest forecast use of antibiotics. Germany and Switzerland have the strongest regulations. Vietnam and the Philippines have the biggest forecast growth. At Bounty, from 2019 to April 2021, we are able to reduce our antibiotics usage by 97%. Unprescribed use of medically important antibiotics, use of antibiotics as prophylaxis, and use of AGPs are not allowed, while the use of critically important antibiotics are restricted. In live operation, there will always be an exception. If a flock was sick due to bacterial disease, we will treat the affected flock. We adopted European Medicines Agency categorization of antibiotics. Controls to ensure compliance to management standards and health programs are incorporated as incentive penalty in our payment scheme for our contract farms. Antibiotics will only be dispensed with the prescription of BAVI licensed veterinarians and epidemiologists. Compared to 2019, percentage of treated NAE flux was reduced from 0.37% to 0.19%. BAVI have been reducing use of antibiotics over the years to combat antimicrobial resistance. When we started our NAE program last 2017, 
we are able to cut the use of antibiotics by 63% compared to 2016. In 2018, the company's total use of antibiotics was further slashed to 6.4 mg per kilogram per day. Total antibiotic usage increased last 2019 when we stopped using critically important antibiotics in a regular medication program and replaced it with Category C antibiotics. But we are proud that we are able to reduce it to 5.58 mg per kilogram last 2020. From 2016 to last year, we are able to reduce usage of critically important antibiotics to 96%, while total use of antibiotics was reduced by 84%. We stopped the prophylactic use of antibiotics last August 1, 2020 in all of our contract growing farms nationwide. This means that all of our broilers are under NAE production system. Our focus on antibiotic stewardship and growing NAE chicken are now the lodestar that will guide our business to greater success. Our openness to new ideas and the spirit of creativity and innovation have always been the hallmark of our business as we continue to blaze new trail in the local industry. Bavi's antibiotic stewardship and NA chicken production goals are to protect the health and welfare of our birds, to help safeguard the efficacy and ensure sustainable use of antibiotics, to improve cost efficiency, to produce foods, consumers trust, and lastly, we want to influence the industry to join us in our fight against AMR. We put a heart at the center of our mission, vision, values, and leadership brand, and we will be able to create positive impact on our business, and most especially to our customers, the Filipino people. AMR is a serious threat. At Bounty, we choose to be part of the solution. And for all, now is the time to act. A pleasant good afternoon.